What is up? We got a no cool on that old carrier, I believe. I was here, hell, it's probably been a month or so ago. We worked on a little split system right there. They've got it turned off. I, uh, I put my hand over top of these when I was here and they felt all right. I cleared the drain lines. They said yesterday it just stopped cooling. I can see condensate on that one. It's been on. They turned this one off. So let's uh, get the control panel off. I didn't bring much. Only the necessities. And uh, let's see what's going on inside. Nothing's running right now. Like I said, they got turned off the thermostat. So we'll see what might have cost us. Now the blower door screws were loose. And they got maintenance guys. The belt's worn, it needs to be replaced, but it's tight. The motor spins. This is where tags come in handy. So in 20, I tagged it, uh, replaced the blower motor, and high subcooling, low superheat, suspected it was overcharged, and the orifice was restricted. Which would make sense on these, because they don't really take care of these. Um, so let's see what we could have going on here. Blowers on this relay, compressor, and fan motor run. I'm gonna assume the blower runs, and I'm gonna assume we got a refrigerant circuit issue, or maybe that fan motor's dropping out. Filters are dirty. I mean, doubt that would have been the problem, but that is pretty dirty. Oh, they were changed in 22, two years old. And I cleared the drain traps on these. <laughs> but I didn't get in there and clear the mud out of the pan. So that's nice. doesn't feel oily like I said let's just get in here and look at the compressor even though it sounded okay we might have a refrigerant side problem or maybe this fans over amping periodically you got bearings going out or something so nothing too out of the ordinary it does have some build up down inside the coil here somebody didn't restrap it <clears throat> but I'm um, guessing we're going to have to gauge up to this guy. I would assume it was hot yesterday. Uh, one of the hotter days we've had. Coil a little bit dirty. Maybe the fan motor dropped out. Uh, we'll have to just turn it on, get amp draws on everything. I'm probably going to put it back together uh, and kind of go from there. We'll turn it on the thermostat and let it run for a little bit. Probably needs to be cleaned. Heat exchangers, I'm sure, is done for. The front plate was noted back in 20 when I changed the blower motor. But all those wires, I changed the blower motor in 20. I didn't do a very good job securing my wires. That could, could be a problem. But I doubt it's the problem we got now. Let's see. I have to figure out what does what here. This is gonna be my power and I don't have an extra terminal. So let's uh, jump it out or go down and turn on it first. Let's start this guy kick on. It's, it needs to be clean. Like I said, they weren't awful, but it's been like a month or two ago since I was out and I did that guy and I just put my hands over them. So with as hot as it was yesterday, this may have just not started not keeping up. It's surprising that one keeps up, but I don't know what area that does. So let's turn it on, let it run for a little while. Probably just going to, I'll talk to them, see what they want to do, but just need to grab filters for both of these guys. I'm gonna to have to drag a hose up here. Might as well go ahead and clean it. And I might as well go ahead and look at this guy if they want me to. <clears throat> I, think I, I think I offered that last time when I was working on this and said, hey, because I pulled a hose up here 
but they didn't want me to take the time to do everything. So we'll see what they want to do. Let's uh, get the thermostat turned on and see what it looks like. Feels all right. 1.5 amps on the blower. It seems kind of low. I don't know what it's rated. Uh, I'll see if I can grab my condenser motor. It's about 77 in there now. Let's see what kind of temp we get. I mean, belt's slipping. Okay, indoor says 2.6, so <clears throat> it might be a little low. It is slipping, like I said, the belt's worn. It's probably been adjusted 80 times. I think we'll be okay if we can just get new belt new filters clean the coils that's probably all it was i talked to one of the young ladies that was in there yesterday and she said in the morning it felt okay and then by afternoon lunchtime it started to get worse and worse we're doing 55 so like i said i was 77 or so at least showing on the thermostat so 22-ish degrees right now. I'm pretty happy with that. It would have only got worse. Yeah, this coil's hot. I'm not moving as much air as I should. Everything's operational. I guarantee you that's what happened. Let's get an amp draw on the condenser motor and then uh, see what we want to do. It's going to have to be cleaned. Everything needs to be cleaned while I'm here. It's gonna be cooler today, but we're busy right now, so I don't know. I gotta see if I'm gonna stick around and clean these things or if possibly somebody else is. I have 0.9 amps on the motor. I'm guessing it's rated one or so amps. I'm losing my panel. rated 0.8 amps so I'm not terribly concerned about that unless it starts creeping up so we'll monitor it for a little bit and then kind of go from there uh, it could come down as we clean the coil too and we get good airflow on a condenser So we're running about a 40 degree evaporator. This is R22. And I mean, you can see that head pressure a little high. It's probably, I mean, it's first thing in the morning. It's probably 75 degrees out here. And I'm running almost 120 uh, saturation. Now that's discharge pressure, not liquid, because there's no liquid port, but it's still awful high. For it to be not that hot outside so <clears throat> we're 75 85 95 105 115 so 45 degrees over ambient is going to put me at you know by the time i hit 90 outside <clears throat> it's going to be 135 140-ish i mean we're looking at three near 350 you can see it's already condensating like crazy so from everything that I've got here this thing needs just a good cleaning and it's gonna be okay I, I've got superheat subcooling readings from a couple years back it is what it is there ain't no sense in doing all that to something this old it's gonna be those readings are gonna be off and we'll just note it again that it's been noted and hey could have a restriction and be overcharged it's gonna run until the compressor dies. They'll, they'll run it till it dies and then they'll decide what they want to do. I mean, it's lived a long life anyways. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's probably 20 years old. Somebody already got those guys for us. Thank God, I just seen the nest. Uh, 
serial number, so that looks like an 05. <clears throat> 05 to 24. They, they got about all they could out of this thing. We also need to clean the other. There ain't no sense in doing one and not the other, so let me see who's going to clean and what they want to do. Still haven't seen this guy run, but as suspected, uh, I know this customer pretty well. He just wants to go ahead and take care of all of them. So I've got a list. They've got some stuff on site. I'm gonna go down and see what they've got and what we might need, because I'm not gonna do the cleaning. I got another guy coming, and I'm gonna have him pick up whatever they don't have and whatever we'll need, and we'll get these guys done. Their, their front office will be happy. And, we can go from there. We can move on to something else today. All right. So we're looking as good as we can here. Head pressure's coming up. We've shown this before. Ball valve off. Feed back into the suction line. Let that bleed for a minute. I'm getting things set up for the, the next guy's gonna come out and actually go through and clean all these things. I'm gonna give him a rundown of what I have first uh, so I'm not leaving until he gets here but we are looking good 50 degree air uh, this guy's not gonna be a problem I need to check the amp draw of the condenser fan again but I'm gonna get my gauges off of it carefully that fan blades right there And I'm um, get my caps back on. There are, I'm gonna get good caps on. I'm missing a seal in one of these. So make sure we get good caps on here. And then I'm just gonna start cleaning until my guy gets here. It's not as bad as I've seen, but it's got some buildup in it. Uh, so we're gonna rinse this really well. We're gonna rinse the evaporator really well. Just make sure we get all this junk off the evaporator. Drain pan's in rough shape. We should be okay. We'll just be careful. Try not to fill the duct work up. So I got a little bit of crap out of it. It's looking a whole lot better. Um, we just want to be clear. This, like I said, this is a customer I know. This is a customer that trusts me, but I've been coming here for a long time. I want to make sure they know, just like every other customer knows, uh, all the information. Possible restrictions noted in 2020. Condenser fan motor is over ramping slightly. We just cleaned a dirty coil. It's possible that that fan motor dies. Front plates rusted. Heat exchanger's likely rusted. We've done in the maintenance, and that's gonna get them through this summer. But there could be other issues. These guys are flying around me now, too. I don't know where they came from. Maybe they were hiding in there earlier. I don't know. But I'm gonna have to find some wasp spray. Get this guy buttoned up. Uh, CYA, leave the tray better than you found it. I'll see y'all next time.